What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Yes, we are back. And man, it's glad to be back. Your boy's been working hard. Oh my goodness gracious, Cleophis went down on me. Yeah, if you don't know who Cleophis is, that's the truck. Yeah, it has a name, Cleophis. And if your truck doesn't have a name, well, I don't know what to say. I just don't know what to say. But in the meantime, I got to do some work on Cleophis, man. Yeah. And if you know, you know. So the truck is a major part of fishing, getting out there and having the ability to get in certain places that a lot of people can't, especially with the kayak, you know, and get down those trails. So uh, we definitely need this, okay? And uh, Cleophis has a new brake system. We can back down the boat ramps now. Uh, man, Cleophis is getting old, so uh, we're going to have to change out some stuff, like major hardware, guys. So in the meantime, I'm going to work on this, and I'm going to let you guys get into day two, the limit. Yeah, stick around. Watch it. Check it out. Hit like. Hit subscribe. All that good stuff. And uh, if you're ever in the area, stop by Cheswold News and Tobacco for all your tobacco products and more. Yeah, guys. So uh, I'm going to get to work. You get to watch it. I'll be back. All right, guys. We're about to get busy. The one thing I'm gonna say about this is it's windy, really, really windy. And you may not be able to hear me from this point on. I'm on a protected bank right now, but you really may not get to hear me much. So I'm gonna rock with the swim bait, my Texas rig jigs, and a couple other little sneaky peep tricks, guys. So uh, hopefully you can see this and hopefully you can hear me since I'm sitting and the sun is up behind me right now. So. That's the conditions we're dealing with. Yeah, we got a lot of juicy bank right here. Gonna see if I can keep our camera pointed at the bank I'm fishing. That's the plan here. So let me go ahead and get set up. There we go. Strapped in. And that camera is awesome and it's also waterproof. This will start back in these pads. I'm gonna start there. And Work my way back out this way. All right.
waiting for some unsuspected prey. Just hope you don't get snagged on. Ooh, those may be panfish. That was definitely a tap on the bait. Not big enough to make me wonder about it. happening here. Huh. Uh -huh. There you go. Now mind you, this open hook around these pads can get messy if you don't do it right. So don't go into the pads, get on that edge, get as close as possible, and that'll keep you from getting hung up as much. Going back at this point here. Uh, I think that's bait fish. That's small stuff. That's probably bluegills or something. That was a quick tap tap. That's probably a quick perch. Yeah, that's something little. But around something little, there's got to be something big lurking, just waiting for that little thing to slip up. So, always fan cast around those things. You never know. Uh, when you get a hook up like that right there, guys. Oh yeah, you never know guys, like I said, oh, it's a decent one, it's decent, let's see what we got here, come here guy, uh, got him, good hook, good hook, all right, just like that guys, you never know what's lurking around those smaller fish, so there's little ones, there's big ones, so let me clean up my mess right quick. There we go. That looks like a scorable bass right there, guys. So that's what I'm talking about. It looks pretty decent. Looks pretty decent. Give him about 14 inches. Let me see. Oh yeah. So we found the juice. Oh man, within 12 minutes. That's cool. There we go. There we go, guys. So do that. I'll keep an eye on that rod because when you got bait swinging like that, you can, you can really double you up real fast. We've seen that before in one of my videos. Oh yeah, yeah, she's scoreable. This is most definitely a scoreable fish, y'all. As soon as we get her to calm down. Mm-hmm. Looking like a 14, 14, 2, 5 maybe. Good stuff. Hey, hey buddy, buddy. Yeah. Woo -hoo. Man, that's why you got to have that net that I did not bring. <laughs> Once again. All right, check that thing out. 14, 2, 5. That's a good one. Off the swim. Go ahead, buddy. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Woo. That's a good start. That's a good start. That's a good one, right off the swim. So we're gonna we're gonna continue to swim right now, and we're gonna rebait this, get it ready, and uh, keep on going through there. That was a nice, nice fish, nice scoreable fish. So that's awesome stuff right there. And like I told you guys, when those small ones are around and they're pecking, they let those things peck a couple of times, but fan cast around it because that little bit of commotion 
there's always a bigger fish around ready for a smaller fish to slip up. So that's the swim bait right there, right there. So we're gonna see if we can reuse this bait. And you know how contacts are, they will, they will be one use bait if it ain't just right. You get hit just hard enough, man. It, it could destroy everything. You gotta put another one on. But well worth it, well worth it. Um, get another contact ready just in case this one can't take the pressure. It'll be ready to go. We can catch some nice ones. We can have it ready. So we're gonna be able to catch some decent ones. That'll be cool every which way. So just get it up in there, back in it. And I'm coming right through the same area and see if we can mm -hmm, look up on another one maybe. But that one did bite out a little further. It wasn't up on the pads exactly. It was out. Oh yeah, this bait may not make it. Oh my. We're gonna see if we can do something with that later. Put that in the used swim baits. And we'll see if we can find a way to save money with some of these used plastics. All right, let's go back in the, in the bag back up in my bag y'all the which one was this one because you don't want to really venture too far from the size and i think i got enough swim baits here to make it work that's a little bit bigger size so either way i think that's not too much that's 3.8 that's a 3.3 .3, so I don't think it's gonna make the biggest difference, but I'm gonna keep the size on there that I got for now. And if I have to change up, then I'll change up. So we'll see. Smash it onto the keeper. It does pretty good. So maybe you can get a, another use or two out of it. So let's swing it out and let's go. See what we got. We got a 14.25 on. Oh, I think that's a bait. Uh, it's a little, it's a little thing. They ain't tear me up though. Uh, crappy right there. That's a crappy. So we do got crappy out here, <laughs> but we do got bass right on top of the trap so we'll see what we got going on but now that we know we caught it at a certain distance we know that we can kind of fan out and venture with the cast or two a little further from the pass just to try it maybe catch them on that depth chain shelf um, everything's pretty gradual here though real heavy and hard drops so just kind of play your luck and find that hole so we're just going to move a little bit cast on out kind of let our cast overlap so we found bait fish See if this is a trend or if this is the area that it, the mayhem starts in. And maybe further back because of the wind pushing that way. So let's find out. And that's pretty much how you pretty much how you do it. You're searching for them, you you don't need instruments or any of that other stuff. You don't need devices. You really don't. Uh, you just fan cast it and search it down. I mean, if you want to find fish faster, yes, technology definitely helps. Uh, that's for sure. But they don't put the fish on the boat. Um, they'll get you in a perspective of what you may need to do, but at the same time, when do you say when, you know? Huh. 
throw it the same style. Getting in close. Out of that thing in. Right there in between them passes. This is where when you throw in this open hook, you got to have just a little bit of accuracy. I ain't the best, I ain't the most accurate. But I do try to, ooh, that was some movement right there. Huh. But I do try to get better each time I come out. That's for sure. Let's see if I can get right on the inside of that point. There's a little pocket. Oh, ah, not quite as, wasn't, wasn't far enough. lost the ride. I'm trying to throw it so hard. Oh, oh, I feel like, uh, that's a bike. Hook up. <laughs> so the bass are out a little further, it seems. Well, they're following from, so. There's a pretty good pocket. Look at that little guy. He ain't gonna score, but look at that little fella. That's a pretty little fish. That was right in front of that point, so I came in a little further. I just hit the pocket I was talking about right there. So let's see if that's a trend right there, but it was right off that point of the pad. Look at that. Uh, Give it a couple more casts in that area. See what happens. Is there any more bass sitting in here? They're playing with my bait now. See what happens. Yeah, so the bass came off this angle. Mm -hmm. so the bass may be sitting right outside of these crappie because they seem like smaller crappie. And uh, I'm figuring bigger bass would be sitting out here or maybe they were earlier and I missed them but we got a good idea where they're at just from those couple bites and seeing the bait fish so that's pretty cool yeah fish it fish thank you no for nothing okay. yeah, more bait fish all right, all right. Seems like more big fish. Uh -huh. uh, a little bigger. Ooh, little bass, another teeny one. Ooh, so the larger ones were back that way. Look at that, little guy. Ooh, look at that little D, little D. Oh, man. <laughs> go get big, buddy. There you go. Oh, all right, cool. So, a little teeny one. Let's see if there's another one, but the mama. Where's your mammy? And he also hit me 15 to 20 feet away from them pads. Coming out, so I don't know yet if they're following them, following the bait, or I really need some super glue. over that way so I can still get it. That's a good one. Huh, yeah, that's it. Find the bait fish. There we go. We find the bait fish. And coming into this more lively cover. And uh, I'm surprised I didn't rip that out of his mouth. But there you go. Just like that. Nice little crappy. Nice little size there. So just putting this in a different perspective looking at good old healthy stuff and then find the bigger fish on the outside of the prey fish is what it seems like what's happening here so which I mean that's pretty much how it happens
crappy. <laughs> yeah, I'm not snatching hard on the crappie. If you haven't noticed, I'm not snatching real hard on them. Crappy city, all right. So, look at that. So, it's got to be a five, six pounder in here somewhere, just out here waiting on these little, little buggers, little fishes. And we found some lively areas, so peeping game on that. If we come across one of those hunting bass. So, uh, yeah, guys, looking good, looking good. And we're doing it with the swim bait right now. So I'm gonna keep rolling with that swim bait, man. And if anything changes, I'll throw something else or you know, see what's happening with different baits, get different looks to see if we can catch uh, a better caliber fish. Let me turn this off. See if we can catch a better caliber fish. And uh, hopefully grow from there. Oh no. What in the oh that was somebody's fishing line right there. That's crazy talk. I thought I just missed a monster. crazy, but that's how I'm feeling, y'all. Come on, fish. Now you want to get it aggressively. Ha <laughs> Found you. Little bluegills. That's what I'm talking about. Oh man, I hope that one caught it. Ah, yep. Mm-hmm. I knew it was. Yeah. Something little. Tearing me up. Alright, let me get them playing with these little fish. That was a fun sidebar. You ever just want to go fun fishing? That's what you do. Catch panfish, man. Oh, they're just so aggressive, little. Oh my gosh, they're just crazy. They're like little midgets, like Napoleon and stuff. Oh, I'm not trying to say anything appropriate. I'm not saying all midgets are mean or anything.
crazy now the wind's blowing out. Fish could be, but you just don't know. Because what you think of that wire? Oh. Dang it. I don't know. Technical difficulties. So, we're just going to keep on fishing. See what happens. That's pretty much all we can do here. The wind totally changed my plan. Think gets any better around this point. That's crazy. Got one. Right off the point. All right. Let's get this guy in here so he shakes off of me. Woo! All right. Wind is getting us. Bam. Bam. Nice one. Nice one. Let's see if it'll keep 12 Got to be at least 12 inches, guys. 12.25. Right, guys that's our limit we got five fish on we was hoping to get that limit today and we got it it was cool we've been here about three hours and 15 minutes now we're going to keep on fishing a little bit more and see if we can upgrade something get back in position What's up fam? Man, that was an awesome day out on the water. Day two, got the limit. Started off uh, on the pads. Uh, I just knew the pads were gonna be some juice, right? I just, deep down. So I was being a little hard headed about it and uh, finally made it to the other side, fished some lay downs, fished that other bank. And uh, finally, finally, got a hold of a limit. Yeah, guys, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Outside of that, had some fun catching some pan fish, some bait fish, you know, some yeah. crappie. Uh, oh, yeah, another little beautiful bluegill. crappie. Uh, I believe Look those bluegill thing. were just pecking at me and, and, you know, they took my tail, so I had to go back and get them, guys. I had to get at least one, right? Come on, now. Had, had to see it, you know? So, yeah, had a little fun with that, and uh, trust me, guys, any day you just want to go out and mess around on the water, panfish, crappie, perch, bluegill, all your bait fish, those are the ones to go fish and get after, and just to have a little good time, take the kids, and uh, man, have fun with it. Um, but outside of that, guys, we finished at a pretty good place. Yes, so I'm not disappointed. You know, um, I'm feeling good getting in the groove and, and getting a better understanding on tournament fishing, breaking down the water, getting in it, and uh, just trying to break things down a little faster. So, with that being said, guys, tell me what you would have done differently, what you think uh, overall, and uh, man, it was awesome. So, uh, yeah, Cleophis. He's doing a little bit better, and I got dirty, and I got all scrapes of grease all over me. It's just, you know, hey, it's a part of the game, guys. Gotta do it, because that truck is what gets us to the water, right? So, uh, yeah, man, leave your comment down below. Hit like, hit subscribe, holler at your boy, tight lines and all that good stuff everybody says. Peace.